Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India NPTEL project on econometric modeling. So, today we will discuss the same component uh, dummy variable econometric modeling. So, in the last class we have discussed the basic framework of dummy variable modeling. So, uh, I briefly highlight first uh, that uh, uh, dummy modeling then we will proceed uh, for let us say applications. So, basically dummy variable econometric modeling can be divided into two parts one is called as a dummy dependent and dummy independent ok. So, in the case of dummy independent it may be single dummy single dummy or it may be multiple dummy ok. It may be single dummy it may be a you know is dichotomous, it may be trichotomous and polytrichotomous. This is how DTP, okay. Dichotomous, trichotomous, polytrichotomous, poly. C H polytomous polytomous. Okay, so this is how <coughs> dummy can be classified. So here also dummy dependent. It may be in DTP formula. Okay, so that means uh, by basic framework, uh, uh, the uh, dummy variable structure can be divided into two parts: dummy dependent, dummy independent. And under dummy independent, there may be single dummy there may be multiple dummy. If it is single dummy, then within the sing, uh, single dummy, the category may be uh, 2, category may be 3, category may be more than 3. Okay. So, this is how it is divided into 3 groups DTP orders. So, D in the case of D, it is binary in nature, in uh, uh, T, it is uh, tri, thrice 3 different category, then in the P, uh, P it is multiple category. Okay. So, multiple category means it is not infinite, it is finite. Okay. So, let us say <coughs> there are five different uh, structure. For instance, I will take a uh, I will take a variable say religion. Okay. So, religions may be Hindu, may be Christians, may be Muslim, may be Sikh like this way. So, uh, according to you see first you see the problem setup. So, if you say religion is a variable and you have a response from you know 500 sample per, so, uh, respondents. So, uh, five, that means 500 genders uh, religions are there, means 500 uh, religion of 500 people's uh, structure is that. Uh, so, you have to see how many religions are uh, all totals in the 500 list. So, accordingly, so religion has to be coded into that particular format. So, that means if there are only 4 religion in that particular response sheet, then obviously, so you have to put D equal to either 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 or you have to start with the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, this is how you have to structure it. So, uh, that is in the P structures or if it is thrice say, uh, let us say uh, you can say uh, seasonal effect. So, summer, winter and you can say autumn. So, obviously, so this is how uh, T structure of you can say dummy, dummy independent. So, similarly, D structure of independent is the best cited example which is gender issue. So, this is how you have to categorically mention the detail about you know dummy variable econometric modeling. The simplest form which we have discussed in the last class is that. So, y equal to beta 1 x 1 plus gamma 1 d 1 plus beta 0 plus u. Okay. So, now uh, where d is categorically represented as a 1 for male and 0 is for female. So, accordingly the setup will be like this. So, let us say this is beta 0 and this is beta 1. Okay. 
and this is beta 1 or you can say call a uh, alpha uh, means when will you put here uh, a d equal to g uh, 1 then obviously e upon y d equal to 1 is equal to uh, simply beta 0 plus uh, beta 1 uh, beta 1 x 1 uh, beta 1 x 1 uh, plus you can say uh, 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 gamma 1 ok so that means it, it this will be removed so it will be beta 0 plus gamma 1 only so beta 0 plus gamma 1 uh, then that means it is a, it is a, a it is a gamma 1 okay it is gamma 1 so now d equal to 0 means e upon y d equal to 0 is e beta 0 it, it's simply beta 0 because this will be this will be equal to 0 so it will be simply beta 0 so this is you know where d equal to 0 and where it is d equal to 1 so this is how d equal to 0 so this is an indication this is an indication so okay so now in that case your model will be uh, y head equal to alpha alpha plus beta 0 okay this is head plus beta 1 head x1 okay in that case is uh, sorry uh, uh, okay so in fact this one will be coming like this way so it is uh, beta 0 plus uh, plus gamma 1 plus beta 1 x 1 and this should be simply a, a simply beta uh, beta 0 plus beta 1 x 1 beta 1 x 1 so this is how the structure is all about so this is the simplest form of you can say dummy uh, dummy independent variables so let me uh, let me highlight a uh, in a broad way okay so in the last class we have discussed a problem called as a uh, household saving uh, household uh, household household saving as a function of earnings okay this is the standard one uh, you know case one so i will give, i will show you various cases how dummy variable can use okay so case one uh, household saving is the earning so household saving is a quantitative in nature so earning is a quantitative in nature so i will call it this is y and i will call it this is x okay so then the model will be y equal to beta 0 plus beta 1 uh, i will call it let's better x1 okay so then this is beta 1 x1 plus u okay so this is the simplest models so now i will uh, 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 th this is the case one where household saving is equal to earnings but you know in this particular structures in this particular structures here there is no question of dummy okay so now we will have case two then i will put household saving house household saving as a function of earnings e earnings and genders okay if I will put earnings and genders, then this is quantitative, this is quantitative, this is qualitative. Okay. So, now I will put like this way y equal to beta 0 plus beta 1 x 1 plus plus d a gamma 1 d 1 okay, plus u provided. So, condition is that u equal to 1 for male and 0 for female ok so now this is the case 2 ok so now i will prepare another case case 3 i will put a edge compositions ok edge composition is another uh, factor so household household saving as a function of earnings then genders then edge ok then edge so that means this is quantitative this is quantitative this is qualitative so that two indication of 0 and 1 ok so edge composition so this is also qualitative so accordingly i will write the model here y equal to beta 0 plus beta 1 x 1 x 1 is for earnings ok plus gamma 1 d 1 d 1 is for gender then delta 1 delta 1 uh, uh, then d 2 ok 
so d2 is for edge ok so now d1 is a function uh, means where the condition is d1 such that d1 is 1 for male and 0 for female ok so similarly d2 classification is that edge composition 1 if uh, the guy is 25 less than uh, less than 45 ok less than 45 ok 0 otherwise 0 otherwise ok so i like to know what is means here edge composition means he, here our fundamental objective is uh, to know what is the household saving and what are the factors which can influence these factors may be quantitative very means what are the factors means what are the variables these variables may be quantitative in nature may be qualitative in nature but uh, uh, but the, uh, in most of the cases or you know you go to any regions or any country in the world so most of the variables which can uh, influence uh, the the you know component say household saving uh, is that so uh, the variables which can uh, which can highlight the uh, household saving may be uh, may be uh, you can say earnings genders age and etc etc okay so this is how we have to cut, uh, we have to fit the model so household saving as a function of earnings genders then age issue okay so now uh, this is quantitative this is qualitative this is qualitative so if this is the case then this will be the model so then i will take another case case four okay case four again i will take household saving as a function of earnings genders age then i will take educations okay education education is another variables okay so this in that case so uh, this is quantitative this is quantitative this is qualitative this is qualitative this is also qualitative so now in that case so i will fit the model like this y equal to beta 0 plus beta 1 x 1 plus gamma 1 d 1 plus delta 1 d uh, sorry delta 1 ok delta 1 d d 2 then uh, mu uh, mu 1 you know d 3 ok mu 1 d 3 or simply you can write like this uh, y equal to it is better put here is alpha plus beta x 1 beta x 1 plus gamma 1 d 1 plus uh, delta 2 d 2 plus mu mu 3 d 3 ok then it should be beta 1 then plus u obviously there is u here so plus u ok so now here d 3 classification is that this is education uh, for education so o, o, o equal to 1 if it is pg respond, uh, respondent is pg having pg qualification and 0 otherwise ok this is how education can influence the particular component i will take another problem uh, case 5 so i will take household saving as a function of as a function of earnings genders age educations then i will put another component called as a profession ok profession i will take another component called as a professions ok so accordingly i will put this is quantitative this is quantitative this is qualitative this is qualitative this is qualitative this is qualitative all right so now the model will be y equal to y equal to uh, alpha plus beta x ok plus uh, gamma uh, uh, gamma d gamma 1 d 1 plus uh, delta delta 2 d 2 plus uh, plus mu 3 d 3 plus uh, plus uh, you can say uh, uh, zeta uh, zeta for d4 okay plus u okay zeta for uh, d4 so now um, here's all uh, uh, d1 is defined d2 defined d3 defined d4 defined no sorry d4 is not defined so d4 is here's is equal to uh, 1 
if the respondents respondents are say doctor ok zero otherwise means why I mention doctor for instance you see here profession is a, a profession itself is a qualitative variable. So, within the profession there is lots of quality for instance our aim is here to describe what is the profession uh, of a particular respondent on uh, his household saving. So, now uh, uh, once you have 500 response data pictures then obviously with respect to profession we have some category. So, let us say out of resp 500 respondents there are 300 or more than 300 are doctor profession then obviously you will set the domain like this way one for doctor and the rest is for you can say uh, uh, other professions. So, that we, we, we can have a better explanation, but you know uh, for instance if out of such professions if you are 50, 50, 50 are theirs you know 500, uh, 500 divided by 50 means 10 professions are there. So, you will put professions you know d equal to 1 for doctor, d equal to 2 for you can say manager, d equal to 3 for engineer like this way. So, then you will categorize, but you remember one thing when you will introduce dummy one after another then your uh, variable setup will start increasing. So, that is how the just like the problem of multi collinearity. So, the moment you will introduce one after another then obviously model reliability model. Uh, means uh, model accuracy will be very high, but in the same times it will get affected the model reliability part because the moment you will introduce oh, one after another variable r square will start increasing then f will start increasing because it is just like independent variable, but the thing is that so the moment you will introduce one after another uh, dummy in the systems uh, of course, you can do it, but he, uh, uh, a researcher has to decide the situation how many within a particular set of how many domain he can uh, fix and uh, uh, how can he can uh, structure it properly. For instance, this particular case I, I, I am putting for this particular variable say profession. So, I am categorically divided into d into 1, 1, 0 only. So, it can be mul mul multiple in nature. Uh, so, that in that multiple case, so you have to restrict yourself depending upon the situation or scenario. If the situation scenario will permit then you do that one, so if the situation or scenario will not permit then you have to go in other way around. So, I will tell you what is that other part of this particular story. So, now in that case if you will introduce one after another domain then obviously there is a multi collinearity problem. So, uh, R square will obviously high, F will obviously high, but uh, when you will introduce one after another then whatever the variables already in the system they should be significant in the same times the variable which is introduced in the system new variable which is introduced in the system that should be also significant. If uh, introduction of that particular dummy will affect the model accuracy you can say other part of the model then it is better uh, you have to drop that particular uh, variables or that particular variable qualitative variables ok. So, that is the profession component let us me let me highlight another way how the profession can be categorically divided into various groups. So, for instance uh, you see here uh, let us let us uh, have a look here household saving then obviously ear, uh, earnings is another variables. So, earnings is your, this is y this is x 1 then uh, then forget about to in the meantime let us say we are remain silent about this three factor first we start with the profession obviously profession is more important variable than this one this is. So, now I will take it a profession here ok professions I will call it is a uh, you can say d 1 uh, in this case it is a d 4 ok. So, uh, we will introduce another uh, other uh, qualitative variables after that ok. So, let us me let me highlight here so within a particular variable how many dummy you can create further. So, now that is our m here. So, uh, y x 1 and d 4. So, these are the data points you have ok. So, this is 500 data points and this is. So, earnings quant quantitative 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 ok like this this is quantitative this is quantitative this is quantitative. So, you will go ahead so, ok. So, now this is qualitative this is qualitative this is qualitative this is qualitative ok. So, now this is question mark ok. So, you cannot directly uh, uh, regress. So, you have to transfer it ok. So, now uh, 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 once you have this particular format and this particular column. So, forget about other columns now first you decide about this particular column then you have to look for other columns. So, now here the professions uh, figures 500 professions are there 500 people's professions are there. So, now we have to see how many professions are there in this particular 500 observations. So, now accordingly 
D can be categorized. For instance, there are uh, if there are four professions. Okay, so let's say in that 500 samples, there are four professions. Say doctors, then manager, then you can say uh, 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 you know uh, chartered accountant, then you can say company secretary. Okay, these are the people are in this particular group. So so accordingly. So, now you will create four domains. Okay. So, now you take it how I will do this ones. So, now you see here HHS earnings then professions. Okay. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 up to you can say 500. Okay. So, this is figures are already there in quantity format. This is quantitative format figures are there. Okay. So, now here in the profession side, so let us say this is doctor, this is a uh, this is a uh, manager, so this is doctor, this is chartered, uh, this is manager, this is company secretary, this is company secretary, this is chartered, uh, uh, chartered accountant, okay, this is doctor, this is doctor, this is medical manage, uh, man, managers, okay. So, this is how it is you get, get filled up. So, now you have to transfer into quantitative information let uh, let you know you have four professions doctors then manager then chartered accountant then company secretary ok so this is one this is two this is three this is four ok so now we will transfer accordingly one two then this is doctors then one chartered accountant three manager manager is two then company secretary four this is four then chartered accountant 3, then doctor 1, doctor 1, manager 3. So, this are the problem. So, now the sample size is suppose let us assume that this is up to you can say uh, 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 you know 10, 1, 12, this is 12 samples are there. Let us start with this 12 sample structure. So, now this 12 sample structures, the moment you have 12 sample structures, so then obviously what you have to do? you can uh, he, uh, here there are two specific objectives I mean see another side objectives you have, you have to create here means here main objective is to study or to integrate what is the impact of profession on household saving ok. So, that means our hypothesis is that if your profession is good say doctor or you can say chartered accountant or you know compensated then your household saving will be very high if your profession is manager your household saving is very low like this way. So, this is our observation. So, that means which profession is more uh, appropriate to household saving or total profession is, uh, 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 is there an impact on household saving. So, first you target total profession, then you will go which particular profession has an impact. So, that means when you will go for total imp professional impact on this uh, household saving, then obviously, so dummy may not be serious problem because you are using only one dummy. And if you use one dummy, then obviously expand, uh, uh, overall fitness of the model will be high, and most of the chances, uh, most of the chance uh, means more chance is here that uh, you may ha have significant of all these variables. But you know, if your objective is, uh, is secondary in nature, for instance, you you like in addition to know overall impact of profession on household saving, you like you are also interested to know what is the uh, influence of doctors. Uh, doctor profession on this household saving, then chartered account profession on household saving, then company secretary uh, profession on you can say household saving, then manager profession on household. If you like to have this type of secondary objective, then uh, obviously you have to create another three domains. Okay? So, that means in the professions, so you will, uh, the model will be like this. So, y equal to uh, simply uh, alpha plus beta x okay, plus uh, forget about other domain. So, now here I am just uh, regressing household saving with function of earnings, uh, earnings ok plus profession only, profession keeping other things remain constant. So, now d 1 uh, this is beta 1 x 1 this is put it beta 0 then d uh, uh, d 1 and d 1 ok put here d 2 x 2 plus d 3 x 3 plus d 4 x 4 plus d 5 plus d 5 x 5. Okay. So, d 1, so uh, uh, means where, where the condition is that d 1 equal to 1 for uh, 1 for doctor, 
and 0 for others. Okay. So, similarly, a d 2 1 for 1 for uh, 1 for manager and 0 for others. Okay. So, d 3 1 for chartered accountant 0 for others. Okay. Similarly, d 4 equal to 1 for C S uh, component secretary 0 for other. This is how you have to classify. So, now in that case what you have to do? What you have to do? You see here. So, now let us say 10 data points. Uh, so, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Let us say 17 data points are there. Okay. So, household saving, then a, a earnings, earnings 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. So, all our quantity information are readily available. Okay. Then earnings 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Okay. So, now this is also quantity information. Then we will call it D1, D2, D3, D4. Okay. D1, D2, D3, D4. So, we, we, we mentioned here or I will call it here simply D. So, you see here this is for profession only. This is for profession only. So, now let us say doctor case is like this way. So, 1, 1, 1 then others will be 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, then 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0. Okay. So, uh, similarly D3 profession. So, uh, this is uh, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, this could be 0, okay. this should be 0, this should be 0, this should be 0, this should be 0, and this could be 0, this could be 0, this could be 0, this could be 0, and this is 0, this is 0, this is 0, this is 0. Okay. So, D for uh, it will be obviously 0, 0, 0, then 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, then this should be 1, this should be 1, this should be 1, this should be 1, then this should be 0. And this should be 1, this should be 1, this should be 1, this should be 1. So, this is how the complete uh, sample structure is all about like this. Okay. So, now, now if I li if I li like to know what is the pro total professional impact on household saving, then what I have to do? I will put like this 1, 1, 1, then 2, 2, uh, okay. No, it, it is better. It is three three, okay. Then this should be two 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 four two, okay. This is this is four 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 four. Then this should be two. This should be four 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 four, okay. So this is how. So now. Uh, once you have professional impact on household saving, then obviously, so now either you use this particular dummy or you use four dummies for this, you know, with respect to a one dummy. So, that means, this is depend upon your objective specification. If your objective is just to, uh, uh, you know, if your objective is like this way, if your objective is know the uh, what is the total professional impact on household saving, then you have to follow this particular structures. Okay, you have to f integrate this one with this one with the earnings only. Okay, so now if your secondary objectives, what is the impact of doctor profession on this household saving? What is the manager impact manager profession on household saving? Or what is the com CS profession on household saving? Or what is the you can say chartered accountant profession on household saving? Then in that case, if this has to be removed. Then you have to create four domains. Anyway, you see now the total setup. If we really highlight the total setup here, so now how many dummies here? So this is with respect to gender. This is with respect to age. This is with respect to education. Now you have to create four dummies. 
So, D 4, D 5, D 6 and D 7. So, that means it is a purely multivariate model. So, as a result R square will be very high, F will be very sad. But I have a doubt about to you know with respect to significance of individual parameter that is how we call it a specification test. So, now when we will go for that you know specification test that times if your sample observation is not exclusively very high then it will create problem. But here with the respect to 500 sample points so it may not be serious problems rather it will give you you know uh, 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 ex uh, uh, excellent uh, you know result. So, that is why you have to go for this uh, uh, you know categorization. So, when you have a dummy variable modeling, so you have to see because dummy you have to categorize it, you have to decide we have to represent the structures ok. So, because it is a response variable once you get the response. So, accordingly with the response you have to design the dummy variable. So, whether it is unique in nature or multiple in nature that you have to decide provided your objective must be like that way. If your objective is you know secondary then you have to go for this one. If your objective is primary then you have to go the, the, uh, provided it, it must be supported with the database. For instance, you, if your objective is secondary then obviously you have to create four domains for one is for doctor, one is for manager, one is for chartered accountant, one is for uh, company secretary. But in the meantime suppose you have a sample observation say only 50. So, 50 is I, I am not I am very sure with 50 sample observation if you go up to you know 9 dummies then obviously uh, it may give indication that the model may not be perfectly sound for um, forecasting or policy use. So, it is better when you you are creating secondary objective and you are creating additional uh, dummy variable then accordingly you have to increase your sample size ok. So, if your uh, uh, sample size will be abs abs uh, absolutely very high then obviously it will give you better better uh, estimation better forecasting or you can say it can be obviously useful for very pol various policy uses ok. So, that is how the uh, this is one of the interesting uh, examples which you can cite in the case of dummy variable econometric modeling ok. So, now I will take another examples. So, let us uh, take a case of uh, ok. Uh, I, 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 I will take same things you know uh, there is another problem called as a uh, savings uh, and incomes ok. So, I will put another problems called as a savings and incomes. So, which we have called just now we call it in the form of earnings ok. So, now I, I have the, uh, what the way we have discussed the previous problem is that it is a cross sectional problem. So, now I will introduce another type of problem where dummy can be used, but that to time time series long dummy ok. So, what is uh, what is uh, the structure of that particular st component? So, you see here uh, in that case saving is quantitative variables and this is quantitative variables ok. This is quantitative variables. So, I like to know what is the impact of uh, and you see here. Uh, no, before I highlighting the objective, let us say have a sample size here. So, this is time factors ok. So, let us assume that we this is in the case of say Indian economics ok, in the case of India. So, we are taking 1970, 1971 up to you can say 2009. So, ok, my objective is whether, whether the globalization of 90, globalization that the globalization of 90 has an effect has an effect has an effect on uh, effect on the saving income inequality saving income nexus ok. This is my objective say because ultimately dummy variables use or dummy variables representation depends upon the objective specifications. If my objective is to know what is the impact of income on saving then the problem is a very simple one. But if I, with these two variables I will create additional dummy because dummy is a most of the cases is a artificial creation. So, you have to create artificially for the model reliability, model simplicity and model feasibility ok. So, now uh, if I will uh, add another objective whether, uh, whether globalization has an effect on saving income nexus or you can say saving in income uh, equation. So, in that case, so you have to introduce a dummy ok. So, it is a globalization impact you know in India globalization 
1990 is the most uh, 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 important period for globalization. So, what I have to do instead of uh, with the total sample observation 1970 to 2009. So, I will take here uh, 1990 uh, is a be benchmark okay, 1991 is the globalization era. So, it is the benchmark. So, now what I have to do? So, I will put after 1991 uh, or uh, greater than equal to 1991. Uh, I will put 1 1 1 rest item I will put it is 0. Okay. So, then I will go for specifications okay. so like this uh, uh, it is the uh, dummy I will create a time dummy. So, I will create time dummy then obviously this should be 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 then this should be continue this is 1 1 1 1 1 1 okay. so this is 1. Okay. So, this is how you can go for classification, but you know again if I will put third objective what is the impact of global financial crisis say ok what is the impact of global financial crisis say it is in, in introducing the year say 2008 ok mid of 2008. So, obviously if it is annual uh, annual then obviously there may be some problem, but uh, you have to say 2008, but if it is monthly data then obviously you, will, you may not have such problem. So, now 2008 so instead of 2008 you will put 2 2 2 2 2 2. So, now the entire data has a classified into three parts. So, one part is having 0 figures, so another part the sample of structure has a 1 figure, another sample has a 2 figures. So, now if your objective is to have you know structural breaks on this particular saving and income, then obviously you can get to know uh, by this particular domain. But if your objective is very much clear about the issue, you can say a global financial crisis or you can say. Uh, uh, globalization impact then in that case what you have to do so you will create three domains okay so d1 d2 d3 so here you will put oh, in this case uh, uh, these are all uh, okay in that case you will put 1 1 1 1 for 1970 to 90 then others will be 0 0 okay second case you put all 0 okay only from 1991 to oh, you can say 2007 you will put 1 1 1 then rest will be 0 0 0 then in the d 3 case you will put to 0 0 0 0 all cases and after 19 uh, after 2008 so you will put 1 1 1 1. So, now you can if it is supported by alpha 1 it is supported by alpha 2 it is supported by alpha 3 if alpha 1 is significant alpha 2 is significant and alpha 3 is significant. So, that means we can conclude that uh, uh, there is impact 1970 to 90 a 90. So, uh, this income has a substantial impact on saving. So, then if this is the uh, alpha 2 is significant then you will say that globalization has a significant impact on uh, uh, income sa saving nexus. Again if this is also significant global financial crisis period then you will say that global financial crisis is also contributing factor that can affect the saving income nexus. Okay. This is how the domain variable can be uh, properly set up. Okay. So, now various ways you can uh, you can uh, you can say classify the uh, dom dummy structures uh, uh, um, you know particularly dummy dependent structures uh, dummy independent structure where there is a one dummy uh, one dependent variable where which is purely quantitative in nature and in addition to that there is a some uh, uh, independent variables which is quanti which are quantitative in natures and some are uh, qualitative in natures. Okay. So, I will I'll, I'll put uh, there you know there are many application like you know dumb variable modeling. So, we have already highlighted 2 3 I will put before I concluding this particular session and we like to move to other uh, particular item that is a dummy dependent variable econometric modeling. So, uh, I, I like to highlight one particular uh, means I will highlight another case under this dummy independent technique. So, some uh, that is how it is called as a regional effect. So, to just to examine the regional effect. Okay. So, I have briefly highlighted little bit earlier the sales impact on say uh, advertising expenditures, then uh, bonus okay, uh, region and of course, error terms. Okay. This is how the uh, this, this is how the model is all about. Okay. So, now sales is quantitative, advertising is quantitative, bonus is quantitative, region is qualitative. Okay. Error forget about it. Yes, uh, the way we have discussed here, you remember I have discussed all uh, 
including this this one I have discussed for different problems under dummy variable modeling. But you know I, I am just giving you the estimation process of this dummy variable modeling. So, how you have to build the setup and how you have to estimate the setup. After having estimated equation then you have to go for lots of you know uh, authentic check. For instance, we have to go for specification test, reliability check, then autocorrelation problem, heteroscedity problem, multicollinearity problem, etcetera, etcetera. So, these are all you know possible uh, you, you can discuss all these in details, but you know uh, uh, we are not highlighting here all these discussions means uh, we are not testing we are not going to go, we are not going to discuss anything about the specification test reliability test or multiple entity problem hydroscopy problem or autocorrelation problem so once you have the estimated model then you have to follow that particular principle the moment the you know the importance of dummy variable modeling is that the fix of uh, uh, dummy variable and its boundary that is more important. Once you fix that uh, introduce the number of dummies and that boundary then the problem is as usual the econometric models original uh, general econometric models. So, uh, after that the procedure is almost all same. So, if any go, uh, any problem in between for instance uh, let us say uh, uh, you have a problem say summation uh, uh, beta 0 uh, uh, y equal to beta 0 plus summation beta i x i i equal to 2 and summation um, gamma i d i where i equal to 2. So, that means, it is a 4 variable case. Okay. So, now in the 4 variable case 4, 4 variable must be significant. If it, so, I have to first see uh, I have to I have to first give the structure. So, what is y what is x 1 what is x 2 and what is d 1 and what is d 2. So, I will give you the complete information in a quantity format. Of course, I have done lots of homework years before coming to the quantity information. Once the quantity uh, excel sheet is ready, then I will hand over to analysis to you do it your job. Okay, so, he has to do it and he will continue with the specification means he will go with the estimation process then he will come out with the estimated results the, uh, after that he has to go for specification test reliability test then uh, you know all these problems like multi and heteroscedity etc etc mm, but if he found there is any fault then he go back to original pictures and you will find where is that uh, possibility whether you, there is a need of transformation or dropping of any dummy etc etc so once you have the estimation result and uh, having the quantitative information data so, then no problem uh, you know uh, to go through all these procedures or you can say uh, structures. So, it is very easy uh, after that. So, in that particular context I uh, you know uh, uh, I, 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 I like to highlight another different problem with respect to this uh, dummy independent variable. So, here uh, region uh, I like to know the regional impact on this uh, sales advertising and bonus. For instance, the structure will be sales years, advertising years, bonus years. So, now this is region. Okay. So, now I will I let us say the region is classified into four groups here south, uh, nor, uh, north, then east, west. Okay. So, that means I have to collect data figures, means this is a company here. Company is distributing for different, uh, I mean, sales is going to east, sales is going to west, sales is going to south, sales is going to north okay so so i will collect all these all these for, you know for, for sales volumes uh, then i have to represent here let's say there are 200 sample for sales so i will put adver total advertising uh, 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 expenditure of the company total bonus gi given total amount of bonus given to these employees and uh, where are the regions okay where are the regions i have to highlight so if the if the objective is only regional impact on sales then obviously your problem is a little bit simple okay but uh, in the simple that means you are putting in the south west north and south just you are putting 1 2 3 4 the way we have highlighted last problems okay in the case of profession so similarly here either you apply 1 2 3 4 and then you go for estimation and check the status or else if you are very keen on you know so what is the a Hindu people's impact on sales, other Muslim people's impact on sales, etc. Because sometimes it depends upon what is the problem, what is the product, and what is the service uh, you are delivering. Okay. For instance, uh, let's say you are uh, you are delivering a product. Sales means this sales may be a product with respect to say uh, 
uh, red uh, red t shirt okay so generally uh, uh, these are uh, you can see this structure will be uh, well designed or uh, uh, feasibility is very high if you have a sound theoretical knowledge okay without having theoretical knowledge to apply or to use dummy uh, can be very problematic okay because dummy is designed with respect to theoretical knowledge uh, i just i am just highlighting this particular issue so let's say uh, the cells with respect to red t shirt okay red t shirt red t shirt okay red t shirt or you can say red sari okay sari is meant for female okay so now uh, your respondent first of all your respondent should be females for instance initially you, 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 if you are not uh, uh, if you are uh, using red sari then you, if you are uh, influencing regions so okay the, uh, it's not a problem for if it is male respons respondents or female respondents uh, you, uh, until unless you use the term gender so since gender is not there so you just uh, calculate what are the cells okay red sari is the a uh, product okay so now uh, the company is producing only a, a red sari say or any different sari but we are taking only volume of the red sari so now the uh, this is the cell picture of red uh, red sari and this is the advertising expenditure for this red sari okay and this is the bonus we are giving to employees so whether they are uh, first of all whether they are using this bonus for sari or not okay so if the, uh, the obvious the, uh, the here there may be uh, you know within the bonus it is a quantity picture but within the quantity picture we can create a um, dummy also for instance uh, bonus is extra amount uh, generally company used to provide to the to, uh, to them to their employees okay so now uh, the issue is here with uh, what is the bonus impact on sales volume so that means if they are getting bonus and they are not purchasing any sales of that particular sari then th there is no such impact okay so that means a bonus is meant for uh, we are giving bonus or the company is giving bonus to increase the or to change the structure of red sari only if that guy is not purchasing then forget about it so in that case you can uh, apply dummy to know whether bonus is uh, having impact on sari or not for instance uh, whether they are uh, purchasing the sari with the bonus amount okay for instance uh, i will ask the respondents whether you are using your bonus amount to purchase sari then you put 1 if no then you will put 0 so answer is obvious uh, you can get to know whether bonus has impact on sales salary so if that one is significant then obviously bonus has a impact otherwise not it has no impact similarly region so now uh, once you know uh, bonus means you see here out of 500 only 200 cases the bonus is used for uh, purchasing red salary then that means uh, so far as the regional impact is concerned if you integrate all these things so the regional impact has to be modified accordingly instead of taking 500 samples it's better to take 200 samples where all these items will be very consistent then within the regions then again you will see which region is more effective if it is only just uh, to know the uh, regional impact on the uh, particular issue then obviously you will go ahead with that part, uh, original uh, this particular step if you like to know what is the uh, means Muslim impact on this one, or Hindu impact on this one, or Christian impact on this one. Then obviously you have to create additional dummies. D1 for Hindu, D2 for Muslim, D3 for you can say uh, uh, any others like this way. Then you will see the impact of each each religion on that particular cell. So this is another type of dummy variable econometric modeling which we have to highlight in that particular structure. So like. Okay, so with this, uh, with this we can uh, somewhat uh, means we can c close this particular uh, structures like you know quantitative, sorry, uh, qualitative response, dummy, independent variables. Before I close this particular chapter and move to this uh, other part, uh, qualitative response, dependent uh, econometric modeling. So, I will uh, highlight one thing here the component called as a interactive effect. Okay. For instance, uh, with the simple stock quantity in say uh, interactive effect, this term is called as a interactive effect. What is this? 
So, let us start with a simple uh, uh, you know uh, uh, regress qualitative response regression modeling. So, y equal to uh, alpha plus plus beta 1 x 1 and uh, uh, plus uh, gamma 1 d 1 ok, gamma 1 d 1 um, then u ok, right. Uh, so, for the interactive effect is concerned, we are just stressing the individual impact ok. So, now if there is a such uh, here the what is the generalized formula here means generalized structure here y i equal to beta 0 plus summation beta i x i plus summation gamma i d i ok, gamma i d i uh, i equal to 1 to n i equal to 1 to n ok, this is how the structure is all about. So, now, now for for i equal to 1 then obviously, this is the setup ok. So, now, so far as the interactive effect is concerned, so I will take like this alpha plus beta 1 x 1 plus uh, gamma 1 d 1 plus delta into o d 1 x 1. So, this is called as a interactive effect. So, that means you see here. So, this is y and this is you know uh, this is you know uh, x 1 and d 1 this is y. So, I like to know this this is this volume is known as a d 1 x 1. So, what I have to do I will create uh, now initially we start with the function of d 1 x 1 ok. Alright, so now we will function have a d 1 x 1 then d 1 x 1. So, okay. so, this is called as an interactive effect. So, if this delta is significant then this interactive effect has a significant impact on y. That means, um, um, the combination of d 1 and, and x 1 has a uh, has a impact direct uh, it is individually d 1 may not be effective individual x 1 may not be effective, but the joint d 1 x 1 may be very effective. For instance, uh, uh, you if you take any good case, the goods may be complementary and substitutes. For instance, you see here, uh, I like to take here coffee, okay. then I like to stress with the what is the coffee volumes with respect to milk and uh, you can say oh, 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 milk and you know sugars, okay. milk and sugars are complementary in nature. Okay. So, now if I if my analysis is in that case then obviously, the milk interaction, interaction of sugar will have a effect on you can say copy. So, that is how the interactive effective uh, effect can uh, you can say uh, studied it can be it can be uh, studied uh, so that means, it is a joint impact on uh, joint impact of uh, uh, dummy and uh, independent variables to depend variables. Similarly, the complexity will be start more when you will add another variable in the system. So, let us say y equal to alpha plus beta 1 x 1 plus beta 2 x 2 plus d 1 uh, d uh, d 1 gamma 1 gamma 1 d 1 plus gamma 2 d 2 okay, plus u. This is the simple models, but when we will go for interactive then y will be alpha plus beta 1 x 1 plus beta 2 x 2 plus gamma 1 d 1 plus gamma 2 d 2 plus delta into d 1 x 1 okay, delta 1 into d 1 x 2 1 plus delta 2 into d 2 x 2 okay, plus you can say u. So, this is how you can go for it. Again we can add also another component uh, then uh, delta 3 a, a, a delta 3 you can say d x 1 squares and a, a x x n square x 2 ok. In the meantime this can be another interactive effect ok. So, this interactive effect uh, you know uh, we like to know how what is the joint impact, impact on this one. Even if you know d 1 x 1 you can have a another variable d 1 x 1 uh, uh, and x 2 ok. So, that means, uh, yes, d 1 x 1, d 2 x 2. So, that means, d 3 x 1 square, d 4 d 4 x 2 squares and d 5 uh, d 5 x 1 and x 2. So, this is how the interactive effect we can study. This is simple interactive effect and there can be also complex interactive effect. So, when you will add one after another dummy 
in the system with you know increase of in, uh, independent variables then obviously the interactive effect will be more complex and it is also more interesting sometimes it is very essential and sometimes it is uh, it is uh, it is very much objective specifications if your objective is not with respect to interactive effect then you go ahead with the simple model if your objective is with respect to interactive effect then you have to be very careful about this interactive issue with this we will conclude this particular session here. So, in the next class we will discuss the qualitative, qualitative response dummy dependent variables. Okay. Thank you very much have a nice day.